Good morning. Well, we have yet another toy review, as you can see, as you saw like a few seconds ago. I have this. The SH Monster Arts Mothra. Now this Mothra comes from the 1992 film Godzilla vs. Mothra, or Godzilla and Mothra The Battle for Earth. However you prefer it. But anyways, let's get to the review. Detail on this beautiful, detail on Mothra is nice. Has that moth, moth-like texture to it. Look at these wings. <laughs> these beautiful wings have so much detail in them. And the eyes. The eyes have so much detail like it, as you can see. Makes her, so, makes her more feminine and yet somewhat intimidating. And the, the details on the abdomen is wonderful. You can see the stinger. Wait, is this a stinger? I can't tell. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't think Moss has stingers, but anyway. The antennae looks nice. It's well detailed. And the legs look detailed as well. Now the paint job, the paint job about Mothra is wonderful. Look at the beautiful wings. Look at how they painted the wonder the wings wonderfully. Look at this front, primary and secondary wings are well painted. No, no issues here. The head is painfully like this. The head is paint painted well and well done. And the eye, the abdomen, and the thorax are painted wonderfully as well. Posability. The wings can move like this. But personally, I honestly like moving them like this. Because it looks kind of silly when you do this. Mothra never did that in the movie, but anyways. The head can move. The abdomen can move. Although it won't move around because it used to pop a lot. It used to pop a lot. The legs can move. Now... Well, I think one of the yeah, what this leg likes to pop out of its socket. So, yes, the closest that's the biggest downside. As I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, um, that's the only downside of posing Mothra. Now, like I said, the abdomen does pop out sometimes. Um, it doesn't pop out as much as the legs, but. Um, yeah, this leg likes to pop out of its socket. It's kind of loose, I think. But anyways, the antennae can move. The mouth, the mandibles can move. Although I rarely, although I rarely move them anyway. And the mouth part, and the mouth parts can move. Although when I moved it for the first time, they were kind of crooked. But I think I fixed it. I don't know. I may have. I'm not sure. But anyways. I think it's kind of cro yeah it's kind of, it's a little crooked I don't know if you can see it or not but um let's see let's go to size comparisons what the Here is Mothra next to the special color Godzilla 2000. Oh, oh no, there we go. Here is Mothra with the Revoltec Baragon. Here she is with the NECA Bat Gremlin. Here she and he, well, here she is with the Jisai Uka, Jisai Ukamanu Ryu or Dragon. In Japanese I do plan on reviewing this sometime I don't know when and here she is next to her 2019 counterpart somewhat smart somewhat bigger Mothra 
2019 Mothra, smaller, bigger, but 1992 Mothra, bigger. But yeah, overall, Mothra is a pretty good figure. The only issue that, the only thing that bothers me about her is the fact that this leg pops out of its socket real easily. But aside from that, it's not going to stop me from liking Mothra. Now, I do recommend this Mothra. If you are, if I do recommend you getting this figure if you're a huge Mothra fan. And um, if you want um, a 1992 version of Mothra, then by all means get her. She's on eBay and Amazon. And um, am I planning on? I was thinking about getting the special color of Mothra, but I just chose not to. But anyways, um. Hopefully we get more Mothra figures from the SH Monsters line, like Tokyo SOS Mothra, Final Wars Mothra, um, the the Mothra from Rebirth of Mothra, and the 1960s Mothra. Maybe we we'll, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But yeah, had to get this toy review out the way before I do anything. That being said, have a wonderful, have a great Monday. In the meantime, I'm out.